I suppose I should start this video off with a disclaimer. Um, don't do this at home. So here we have two rims. One is very wide. The other is really narrow. This one is a Ford five on five and a half pattern. My truck is a Chevy four, uh, five on four and three quarter pattern, which is what this rim is. So what we're gonna do is take the center out of this rim and weld it into this one. So we have the right pattern. It's 12 inches wide and I'm gonna set my own back spacing so the tire sticks out far enough so it doesn't look stupid going on the road because I got like 14 inches between the inner part of the fender and my hub. So I want to have that rim sticking out as far as possible so I have the right track. What we have to do is remove the uh, center out of the rim. And how we do that is cut these welds. Just put a zip cut across here as horizontal as we can get. Cut this weld, all the remaining ones and just hammer out the center. This is very thick. I think it's like 3 16 or maybe a little thicker. So it's not gonna warp or bend when I'm hammering on it. So just start smacking the whole way around. Smack it around evenly so you don't bust anything off. And then the center usually pops right out. The same thing on this one. And then take the other center and press right into place. Um, usually I put it on a tire balancer. So we know then if our wheel is going to dry roll like this or if it's going to track fairly straight, see how the bare rim balances out before I final weld it because you don't want to weld it off center and have it shuddering on you going on the road. That'll be awful. I had to go ahead and cut it because my uh, battery is getting low. But just to give you an idea of what I did, I had the grinder with a real thin zip cut disc. I think that's a 1 16th. Um, as flat as I could this way. Um, like this so I could cut the weld in toward the rim but not cut the center of the rim so it's basically just to separate across here like this and now we'll hit down here on any of the solid spots and try to separate it so far this is going really well it seems to be separating nicely this one's hanging on a little bit, um, but all this is separating really nice. So the trick is to just hit around the circumference of the wheel and it should separate without warping. And here's our center. It uh, hammered out really nicely. A lot of times I've had a lot more trouble with these, but the cut went really well. Didn't remove any material from the ring itself, but cut the weld just enough to remove the wheel. You can see the remainder of the welds here. And we didn't actually cut into the wheel at all. That was quick. So now we have the other rim center cut out. The plan now is to put this one in where the other one came out here. And of course it is upside down, but the basic plan is to have a rim that's got a real deep dish. I gotta say that looks really cool. So I'm gonna pound that in just enough to try it on the truck and see what it looks like. Well, it's only laid together for now, I still gotta shave it a bit, hammer it down, but it fits a whole lot better. And that rim is deep. I don't know if it has any backspace at all. It might be like minus one inch. Um, but it fits fairly well inside the fender. Still got a bit of a gap, but that'll make it easy to change the tire. I'm happy with that. Just a little safety tidbit here. Uh, I just wanna show you guys what came out of me cutting up two rims. This is all metal. Everything here is metal shavings and pieces of the grinder, and it's a real good idea to wear a respirator if you're gonna be doing this. And there was a demon that was a... Uh...
So the wheels are all done. I brought them up to a local garage and put them on a balancer. I couldn't get the hood down because they got too much offset. So I just spun them by hand, put a marker down and marked the rim as it was rotating to find a high spot and just got it on the ground, beat it around a bit with a hammer until there was no run out or very little and then brought them home and welded them up. It's pretty ugly looking because I used a stick welder and a non auto darkening helmet in the dark so <laughs> you know they came out as good as they're going to come out I guess. Um, also I welded them as evenly as I could all the way around and I got about five inch beads so they're welded more than they came from from the factory anyway. They come out nice and straight. It's got a really deep dish. So this is where my wrist ends, like here is where the uh, wheel ends. So I think it's got about an inch back space. So we're gonna have 10 or 11 inches sticking out from the hub. So it's gonna look a whole lot better than what it does right now, which is not very much. I think it's seven inches. So it looks kind of stupid going down the road when you got a real narrow rear end with no offset. So now we'll bolt them on and see what it looks like. That looks so much better already. Way better. It's funny how you're going to be able to see the drum. Looks like it fills it wheel well a lot more too. I am going to clean up and paint the rims. I just want to make sure that this was going to work out before I waste any time cleaning them up and painting them, that kind of thing. I'm real happy with how this turned out. The wheels fit really nice. It's not too big of a gap between here, probably uh, three, four inches, something like that. But it looks really nice from the back now. Way better. Nice fat tires. And they fit really nice in the fender wheel. I love how deep the rim looks. That narrow rear end really puts a look onto it. Real nice looking with the Ford blue bars and the black rear end housing. I still got to clean up all the hoses and the wiring and all that. Still got to run the extensions for my uh, electric fan wiring. Get that all plugged in. And uh, probably wouldn't hurt to make up some wheel wells. I do have tubs that came with this back half. So maybe I'll try to, try to integrate those between the top of the frame rail here out to the side of the pan or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, looking real nice. Got a real street truck, drag truck look to it now.
So that's it for another video. Got a lot done on the rat rod this year, but still got a whole lot of work left to do yet. Side note, man, I really need to trim my beard. This is just uncomfortable now. Stay tuned. Have a good night, everybody.